over here with Louisiana Sports Hall of Famer Timmy B. It's deja vu all over again. We're doing this 60 days later. He's the host of the TAF uh, Luncheon. We appreciate you volunteering of your time. Uh, you know, what you look, who are you looking forward to talking to today? Everybody. I mean, literally everybody. I always do. Louisiana's got, I've got a soft spot in my heart for Louisiana. I, uh, these were great years, just tremendous years for me while I was here. I was here 17 years, a big punk, big, big chunk of my life. So uh, I, I just, like I told this other group, I, both my children graduated from LSU. So it's, uh, it's in my heart and I'll always have this feeling. because I've had the great opportunity of, of being a part of the, this event for a long time. I've always marveled at how um, the multitasking that takes place with so many dedicated people. No one could take the heart and soul position of the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame quite like Doug Ireland. I'm so happy he's getting his, his weekend in the sun, you know, and able to enjoy it because this Hall of Fame, courtesy of all the work that we've just mentioned so many people have done, uh, but you too, without question, this Hall of Fame knows how to give the full treatment. And I'm really happy that uh, he gets his full treatment. I'll never forget the 06 season. I know you won't either. And that preseason was one that was just, it was so unique in that um, I had never experienced this kind of heat and humidity before. I was in sheer survival mode, like the entire six weeks. And yes, I said six weeks. All of the Hall of Fame members, but all of those who work so hard, and you know who they are, so diligently to make sure that we not only had a Hall of Fame for 2020, but for 2021, within two months of one another. Hell of an undertaking. Salute.